I'm Phil McKinney, and these are my 2019 predictions. In my 2018 predictions, I talked about AI being overhyped. It's different this year. In 2019, it's not about the hype. We are seeing AI being applied to a lot of new capabilities, including things like prediction models, being able to use the history to predict what's gonna happen in the future. We're seeing this everything from fraud. The United Kingdom is experimenting with artificial intelligence to predict where crime is gonna happen. And we're even seeing it in the role of network technologies and the ability to predict where network outages are going to happen before they happen. One of the new emerging trends that we are seeing here in 2019 is the explosive growth in esports. Now, esports has been around for quite some time with online gaming and then moving into professional sports. What's different in 2019 is the legalization of online betting for esports. That interest from the betting side is going to drive an even faster growth of online gaming with sponsored teams, professional athletes, and the overall impact that it could have on business. One of the trends I've talked about in the past is this emergence of what we call social VR. This ability to have these social conversations over VR over great distances. One of the key technologies, however, that's needed to make that real is edge compute. The ability to take data centers and rather than having them centralized, blowing them up and placing all that computing gear embedded in the network. 2019, we are seeing edge compute become real. Companies like HP, in fact, have set up entire divisions just to design, build, and deliver edge compute capabilities. One of the ongoing trends that's been around for many years is 3D printing. We've all seen it. Today, it's printing in plastic models and concepts, early prototypes. What's different in 2019 is what I'm calling real 3D printing. This is the ability to actually produce working parts. Auto manufacturers now can produce parts, let's say a piston, and then actually install it in an engine and have it be used. This will transform the whole concept of manufacturing. And manufacturing now can be highly distributed on a global basis. One of the things we need to consider for this year's trends is the morality of innovation. Those innovations that are used for not the best of purposes. One example is AI. We're seeing this emergence of what we call deep fakes. The use of AI to create videos and news and other kinds of content that you cannot tell are not real. Those are the kinds of considerations that we need to be thinking about and we need to ask ourselves those tough questions around the ethical innovation. Each year at CES, we see a lot of innovations. The difference between those innovations and the trends I'm talking about are those trends that become real. Those that are gonna have an impact on our consumer and our business lives. That difference of becoming real, that's the power of innovation.